Hello, and welcome back to Tales of Zitsturia. So, you all doing out there tonight? Good. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, I'll start off with a reminder. Uh, no stream starting this Saturday through next Friday. Um due to work and I'm traveling and obviously I'm not gonna have all my stuff to stream with me so there's that secondly uh, tonight's gonna be a little short um, maybe around an hour to an hour and a half I gotta do some work tonight speaking of work again lucky me again anyone who is Thinking of going into IT, uh, don't. It's not worth it. Trust me. Um. So yeah, and yes, I am still using my blown out uh, headphones from uh for uh, my guitars instead of actual headphones because anyone who saw uh, uh, the last part of this at the end I broke my headphones so yeah that's not that not cool so um, so yeah since we are having a uh, quick amount of time, or a short amount of time, let's get into it and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Uh, you must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. Hmm. <laughs> There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, you all right? Uh, I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Uh, okay, so... Lila is... Showing us around. She's literally walking. Run, come on, Lila. <sighs> What's stuck waiting on her? So the game literally froze us to. Oh, what kind of bull crap is that? Um, froze us to give Lila a um, head start. Chest. Oh man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. 
We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of, of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented Calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> it's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about Calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Well, the first load of Calamity... Uh, Is that a monolith? She... altered the world for... the betterment of the world. She's... Yeah, she was a bad guy, but... ultimately saved the world. <laughs> Uh, much have the world has changed. Okay, uh, Sir... Sir Fick? Sir Fick. Sir Fick? Art. Okay, fuck, I don't know. Casting Sir Fick Art leaves you vulnerable to counterattack, but an enemy is hidden art which needs charging, will not stagger you, and will also have... Half the casting speed of your seraphim art. Thus, if you're in a spot, an enemy casting a hidden art by instantly starting to cast a seraphic art, you can withstand attacks you couldn't normally defend against. In other words, don't get caught. Caught sans seraph. What? 
take it that last line's supposed to be like a joke or something? I don't get it. Uh... Hey, there's a treasure chest there. Snacks are done. What the hell is this locked treasure chest bull crap that we're running into? First story, I didn't have any locked treasure chests except for the cats. You can unlock the cat's chest by spinning cat souls. I got a feeling, uh. Cats, at some point, we're gonna meet and deal with. Who knows? You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry. I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? <laughs> Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... Things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly. You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Seray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. We'd better get going. Chop chop, no time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. <laughs> Let's get going. I guess that's one I had to avoid talking about this stuff. What's that? Oh, she is pretty bad at that. Uh, a point of interest. Check. Hey, check. And a new discovery point. Lady Lake's Great Water Room. No special skit or anything? Alright. Boo. To the end, I take it. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. I'll go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepard. It really does. So dashing. Oh, man. I want one. It's the garb of the Shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. 
So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just a minute, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Man, these hmm. clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake. So, went from the Abbey's uniform to this little cape thing, eh? No, wrong button. Uh, I assume we need to go to the Noble District. Yeah. It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. But now everyone's talking about the Shepherd. Uh, I'm not going to read the pop-up little chats as ruined by. I don't think they are useful of any kind. If they were, I would assume they would put audio clips on it for us. Ah, the Shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. That cape moves funny. <laughs> When we run, you see that? Definitely doesn't move nicely as a cape should. Saray, you came. Alicia, the shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. I, uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you. If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... Different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a Seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. 
He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? <laughs> Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. <laughs> uh. Saray, one more time. <sighs> Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power, and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth, though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! The legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay! Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care! I will. You too. Um, Saray? Looks like our explorer is all fired up. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Mikleo? Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Um, so where do we need to go? What's down there? Get off the wall. Nope, nope, that's not the way. It's 
speak. No one can enter the palace without express permission from Butler's orders. I kindly retrace your steps. Wait, isn't Alicia the princess? So... Shouldn't she be in the castle? Or the palace? And doesn't she have the final say? Or is royalty different in this world than what we know of in the Mars? Uh, need to adjust the microphone there. Uh, let's head towards the star, see where that takes us. Do, do, do. Up over here? No. You. Ah! You guys. It's the guy who sold me the pipe. Oh, yeah, I heard about you. Why the hell isn't this voiced? If we were able to take that pipe from you for just a thousand gold, it would look like we have serious credibility issues. We don't want that. We've prepared a pretty hefty sum in addition for what you in addition for you in that box there. Take it with you. <laughs> Ten gallon hat. I bet I know what that looks like. It's not as it's not quite as swanky as the pipe of yours, but it's got a vintage look. I'm sure you'll dig. Hope you'll do business with us again. Uh, so, regular clothes. The shepherd, not all that much of a difference. That style. Oops. Yep. Okay. Um. Where we need to go next. Uh... Oops. God damn it. Hit the right damn button. Idiot. So that takes us out outside Aqueduct. Uh, I guess let's see if we can go in the church. See if Remember, this things. place was in the celestial record. Uh, so a point of interest. Act with it at. Uh, I don't know what the hell we're supposed to interact with that at. Come on. I'll oh, find. I don't care. Oh, why can't we walk up there? Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Let's see if we can go out the back. Oh, treasure chest. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, boo. Fuck my ass. Oh. 
life bottle. Oh, crap. For the drink. I do not know where we're supposed to go. Back to the end? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we can save. So, I really am a shepherd now. But going up against the source of all malevolence, this Lord of Calamity, that's a huge responsibility to take on all at once. You sound like you just heard about it. Didn't you talk to Lila at all while I was zonked out? Nope. I tried to bring it up, but he insisted on waiting until you woke up. He spent the whole time with his nose in his books instead. What? Why? It was more efficient for Lila this way, that's all. But still, you sat around reading for three days straight? You could have gone out to explore the city some more. What does it matter? I was worn out from the battle anyway, and, and I just had stuff I wanted to read, okay? <laughs> it's okay. You've always been this way. Like when I got hurt and couldn't go exploring for two weeks. You waited the whole time rather than go without me. You're so conscientious, Miklio. Yeah, it's really okay. I wouldn't mind if you went and had a little fun of your own. Seriously, I'm fine. They were good books, and I wanted to read them. Sheesh. I know, I know. <laughs> Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. <laughs> okay, so... Ends not where we're supposed to go. Oh, not over there. Let's come over here and see. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle hellion? The hell do you mean turtles hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps! Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks, it's a big help. 
So Turtles is back. I guess Velvet didn't drive them all absolutely insane and mad. <laughs> Maybe they don't sell items anymore because of Velvet. Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. Bought a map. We bought a map of adventure from the turtles. These maps add more geographical information to your map. Since they're written from turtles' point of view, there may be some discrep discrepancies, but you should be able to roughly locate new places you haven't visited yet. If you're ever lost, track down a turtles in the nearest town and try purchasing their map. So, yeah, I don't think they sell items anymore because... Velvet. <laughs> I's got this area covered. I has... I's not gonna let him get away. Yeah, Velvet. <laughs> they were quite mean to turtles. <laughs> but it was funny as hell. <laughs> he didn't respond to the roll call. He didn't respond when ro the roll call was taken. You don't think he's still down there in the waterway, do you? An underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. So one of them hasn't returned yet. Wonder if he's okay. Oh, that is where we need to go. Are you going? Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. You can feel it, can't you? I can. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I'd even imagined. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, oh, sorry about that. You were saying? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yep. Did she literally try falling down to change the topic of conversation? Ah, uh, Lila. It's gonna be one of those stories with her, isn't it? Get back! No way. I'm helping too. I told you. Lila and I have this. Get back! Ugh. You ready? Would the person inside be okay if we hit them? Slimes can soften physical attacks with their bodies. Does that mean it's harder to defeat them? No. I just meant that the person inside should be fine. Well, there's some good news. Splendid job, Saray. Let's keep it up. Three types of arts, like many of us, martial, like many of us, martial, hidden, and surf, surfic arts are all caught in a web of 
agnostic relationships. Watch a lot to interrupts. Surf art casting. You're in hidden arts, you're immune from being staggered by martial arts. While casting surfic arts, you're immune from being staggered by hidden arts. Thus, if an enemy uses one type of art, you have the opportunity to pound him with his superior type. Couldn't you just say that it's like a, um, what is it called, a weapon wheel or cast wheel? Well, it's the standard triangle. Uh, swords beat, uh, like, swords beat axe, axe beats bow, and bow beats sword, and, you know, the typical. Uh, uh, weakness chart that you always see everywhere. That would have been easy to show. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. What on earth happened? He wouldn't believe you even if you told him. You, uh, you were drowning. I was? Thank goodness you showed up then. I should head back and lie down for a bit. I'm fine, I promise. I can get back by myself. All right then. Now we can rop around the ruins without that weighing on our minds. Miklio? From now on, I'm fighting too. But you don't have the power of purification. So what are you asking me to do? Stand around behind you and twiddle my thumbs? I didn't come along just to be a liability for you. Miklio. Lila, is there any way I could use the power of purification as well? There is one way. You could become a sublord and place your power alongside mine. And like me, you would need to dwell inside Saray, my vessel. I'll do it. No, hold on now. You need to think about this first. I need to think about this? I don't recall a whole lot of thinking when you decided to become a shepherd. That was completely different. Is purifying Hellions your life dream? I doubt it. I am a Seraph. Hellions are my natural enemy. Is it so strange that I should want to eliminate them? I don't know. Do frogs try to eliminate snakes? Am I a frog to you? Why are you getting so hysterical? Listen to me, Miklio. I'm not getting hysterical. Miklio. Your liability will be waiting back at the end. Saray, we should go after him. He said he's going back. Let him have his way. I see. This is youth, brotherhood between men. Hmm? But even so, you should know what you did was cruel. Surely you understand how Miklio feels, don't you? <sighs> I've decided. Huh? About what? Moving on ahead. Yes, this is a fine idea. I don't even get what you're talking about. Well, the ruins won't explore themselves, though that would be grand. Uh, uh what? Someone's making a lot of noise going down the stairs. Okay. A key for bronze treasure chests and certain special doors. Are you kidding me? We gotta collect fucking keys to unlock treasure chests? That is stupid. Glad they got rid of that in um, Restoria. with you in a moment, bat. Let's do this! Be gone! Bat, you see things even in the dark. You mean with sonar? Man, I wish I could do that. Hang on, everyone! Strike right! Let's yeah, not yet! 
Looks like we win. Oh, that's one bad. Terribly difficult. Surfers use attacks with greater power and much more. Much more than martial or hidden parts, but because of large casting power, like continuing to hold out the X beyond the necessary casting to time, and keep charging it while using L to switch targets for unleashing it at will. Okay. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Check. Can you figure out how to open it? A door with no keyhole, marked with the crest of the Kingdom of Highland. This is no door. Is it? It's a seal! A seal, is it? When authorities find relics or artifacts that are politically inconvenient for the current regime, they tend to brand them forbidden and seal them away from prying eyes. And if the seal was placed there by the royal family, that would suggest the key is connected to them as well. Huh? What's up? You certainly are quite the budding archaeologist. <laughs> yeah, ever since childhood, exploring ruins was pretty much the only hobby Miklio and I ever had. That Miklio, if I ever discovered anything, he'd run out the next day and discover something else. And? Oh, that's about it. Can you unlock the seal? Oh, right. I think I'll examine the door a bit more. Hmm. What could this be? Just need the key now. Oh. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze there. So, uh, use an item, yes. Uh, let's try the cup key, yes. Huh. I guess this isn't the key. You said it was connected to the royal family. I doubt we have anything like that. Hmm... Check. Let's try the dagger. Just need the key now. Like a knife. That's because it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. Where the hell did you come from? There are some that grow larger when they become heavier. But it's way bigger than the ones we've seen. Ready? The ruins are calling me. Health maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful stuff. 
slide down. Hey, turtles. Hey, that looks like black turtles. Turtlesy, turtlesies. Welcome to the Dark Turtles Imperium. What, what takes any and every's order, any times, from any's, from anyone's, if it earns us some coins. That's the kind of high rolling gamblers we are here at the Dark Turtles Emporium. Dark Turtle Turtles. I guess Velvet didn't drive them as mad uh, uh, as he made it out to be in um, the first game. Okay, yeah, that's exactly the same. Amber Sword. Waistcoat. Take one of those and one of those. Yep. Try on. Like it's all for you. Almond. Ancient sword, let's switch that out. You. Saxide. Or you equip the. Very uh, the final effect without too much. Equip as many of the same skills as you can, leading to extraordinary results. That truly impact the outcome of battle. See for yourself just how many in a quick. Uh, engineering's. A coat. Bonus E unions. E unions are bonus skills activated by placing two or more bonus skills in a horizontal line. It's going to be useful for fighting specific enemies since. The effect will pertain to a certain element. You might get a bonus skill for creating a, a row of five basic skills, or you could remove the middle one and have two pairs of doubling bonus effect. Okay. A defense, the attack. Put that on. Lila, have we got anything for? Sword actually did change. That's cool. Um, let's see. An amber paper. Does that help, Lila? It does. Don't know what that is. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything to that. What are we doing here? Whoa! Check it out! That sword is ginormous! This is an altar to the Sacred Blade. It was constructed in the era of Asgard. Lila, do you know about this? Lila?
Why did she stop answering us? There should be a vista point nearby. This is where I formed the pact with the previous shepherd. Really? But then, why couldn't you tell us before? You and Miklio looked like you were both having so much fun. I didn't want to go and sour your explorer's spirit by spoiling the end. And on top of that, I kept silent for your sake. For my sake? I want you to understand, you must not feel obligated to bear the world's burden on your shoulders alone. Uh-huh. So, how does it feel having reached these ruins? You don't feel as excited as you imagined you might be, right? By any chance, do you know why this is? Um, I... well... You do not wish for your friends to share the burden of your duty, is that correct? I guess I'm really that transparent, aren't I? This is a problem that always arises between the Shepherd and their Seraphim friends, no matter the era. Saray, you must understand how Miklio feels, do you not? Yeah. Very well. There is nothing left for me to tell you. Thank you, Lila. And now, allow me to show you the real reason I brought you all the way here. I want to bestow this onto you. A jewel? They are called iris gems in the world of humans. But, they are originally known as the Earthen Historia. Iris gems. Earthen Historia. So, can you see anything? Huh? Like what? The object you are holding allows those with resonance, that is, the ability to sense Seraphim, to see the memories that are contained within. They should serve you well as guideposts in your search for the Lord of Calamity. Hmm? But I can't see anything. You can't? Hmm, that certainly is odd. Saray? Let's head back. There's nothing more we can find out. But... Hey, we can come back anytime we need to. Indeed. And with Miklio, of course. So the all earthen... Historia, eh? We found those out and they told me to develop it. So then, is this sealed as well? From the inside? This is an altar created in order to bring forth shepherds. It does not open unless one can wield the flames of purification. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean anyone who failed to become a shepherd could never get out of here? Indeed, it is a relic of a much crueler era. I see. You have already been bound to me and are quickly becoming accustomed to my power. I expect you should be able to wield the flames of purification by now. So... All I have to do, then, is light this torch? Yes, but be wary. Those who could not become shepherds may have perished here, but their emotions linger on. This malevolence hangs here like a miasma. Meaning that Hellions are lurking about, right? Exactly. Proceed with caution. Okay. Uh, silver flame press up to cast silver flame in the direction you're facing. It indi it it uses included light. It uses include lighting torches like objects as well as removing impure obstacles. Also, by striking enemies against fire, you can 
begin the battle with an advantage. There we go. I take it we're gonna get more. Now get over here. Be gone! Strike! Hang on, everyone! Sweet dreams! Sweet dreams! Everyone, are you all right? Alright, uh, sorry, Battle of Talents, Rays, and Orthodox Sword wielding fighter. He is circle arts are uh, quick, but so key to success lies in his stat boosting abilities. His X arts are slow, but enemy martial arts won't stagger him even when he uses them. So full frontal attacks are possible. A fine shepherd wields a variety of elements. So it's handy to confirm their enemy's weakness by holding down R1 before charging in and exploiting it mercilessly. Or just mash circle and beat the crap out of anyone in the way. There we go. That actually helped her, right? Yeah. Do, do, do. That's where we're supposed to go. Let's see what's up over here. Come here. Focus, guys. Ah, I don't know. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Hang on, everyone. Where are you from? Be gone. Let us not be full of ourselves and continue. Take it. She got the final hit. Points of interest. Okay, yeah. Soft serve ice cream. There's been some nasty ice cream in my treasure chest, eh? I can't believe it. There are so many of them. I have no idea. Do you feel any different? A new power manifesting, or a new sort of strength welling up inside you? Do you feel like that at all? Huh? I don't feel any different. So it really hasn't happened yet. There's too many. Is there any end to this? Saray, we have to break on through. There's no end to them. Give your all to the fence. We can still pull through. It won't end here. My true name. This is. Recite that name. Harness the power that flows from it and let it become your armor. That is the true power of the shepherd. All right, I'll give it a try. That must be Elma. Wow! I can feel 
wields such incredible power. All right, time to finish this. So, amortization, that power that was a pain in the ass to us as velvet towards the end of uh, Astoria. Hmm. Let's see, amortization, press L1 in normal state to consume one blast gauge and amortize. You will invoke the power of the Seraphim and take command of a formidable weapon. By, armatization, by armatizing, you enjoy both parties combined attack and art attack, art attack, focus, HP, and skills. So when you're in a pinch, armatize, armatization is the answer. Even when Surrey is K <coughs> KO'd any surf with at least one HP <coughs> Fuck. at least one HP and BG can revive him by pressing L1. Too easy. That was wonderfully done, Saray. Armatization itself is proof of one's status as a shepherd. It means you have mastered its power. Still, that was way too close for comfort. Gaining that new power right at the last second there. I'll say. I must admit even I was worried. But in the end, you did an absolutely marvelous job. Ah, shucks. Come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> By the way, since the Hellions are safely defeated, what do you say you go ahead and remove the armatization? How do I do that? Huh? I can't get it off! What? Is that what's supposed to happen? That's what I want to know! So, you can't read the Earth in Historia. You were able to unleash the power of armatization with amazing speed, and yet now you can't turn it off. Saray, you're just a total mess. The shepherd's a mess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Lila. Oh, there it goes. I suppose once the Armatus has been invoked, you'll just have to wait until it dissolves. I'm sure in due time you'll be able to use it at will. If you say so. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we use the arts and armatization on each character art screen. You can switch between different types of arts with L2 and R2. You can view a list of hidden arts and change settings for surfer arts. Aside from these, you can also view other arts in battles such as Banish Blast and Rejuvenation. Scenario skills as the story progresses. Scenario skills are added to the talent to the titles that characters possess. You can check them by selecting titles on the equipment screen. Uh, no. Such slimes are commonly seen around this area. They aren't very strong, but watch out for their spewing attacks. Ready? Purification complete! But they are weak, so no point. The uh, blast gauge represents a latent power that you can push beyond your limits. You you can normally start up to three blast gauge unleashing it with R2 once you set your various battle actions. The blast settings will be added to the strategy menu once you unlock the blast gauge and amortization. The lower the gauge, the faster it recovers, but there's no reason to go nuts. Blast away. There's not to go nuts. 
I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Amortization. And main characteristics of amortization. Circle and X. Three hit combo. Three max combo. Three hit max combo. And focus on damage. There is effect attack. Legendary weapons, or freak art, Carl Sims, great reduce, dance, healing, block, can block, seraphic arts, R2 while idle to cast rejuvenation, hold R2 during combos for banish blast. Don't forget to, that you'll only be making half as many attacks as normal. Seraphic arts 2x also vary by the seraphs. Okay. And yeah, there's another one here, and the slime is gonna drop down. Pop. Surely this is me. Yeah. Okay, but ready? Not yet. Hang on, everyone. Tiger blade, strike. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Pop. Not yet. The ruins are calling me. This, yeah, we know about that. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Yeah, we already know about that. Played any game, you know about elemental weaknesses. And void ring. Uh, up. Oh, that's two of them. Uh, oh, what the fuck do you come from? Ready? Be gone! Alright! Yeah! Okay. Be gone! Full and surge! Full and surge! Strike! Yeah! Ready? Strike! Come on, die, 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 die. Let us not be full of ourselves and continue. Combo facts. Back here. Fudge must be torch lock. I don't see one here. I got a feeling we're gonna be coming back here at some point. That down. Yep, there's the exit. There's the quick jump. Uh, shortcut back. So, yeah, we'll definitely come back at some point for some reason. Alright, let's make a save here. Ah, uh, what time is it? We'll go a little bit longer. Then. I'm gonna have to call it a night for work. Shoo! Finally! So, what are your plans now? Hmm, I doubt he's at the inn. Oh, Mikleo? But he said he would wait for us back at the inn when he left. So, the ruins below spread out all over the place, right? If that's the case, I'll bet Miklio went off to search for another entrance. One that's not this one. Huh? You mean Miklio went into the ruins alone? How dangerous, how downright reckless of him! The Hellions here are spreading like wildfire! You just saw firsthand what a force they are to be reckoned with! How can you be so calm when your friend is in peril like this? He'll be fine. I know he's not the type to let his guard down when he's faced with real danger. And, I'm sure he knows full well that he has no ability to purify the Hellions all by himself. <sighs> don't worry! <laughs> you really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Well, it's a love-hate sort of thing. I see. So Miklio has a sort of rivalry going on with you, and thus he went alone to search for the ruins rather than return to the inn. 
but you're sure he wouldn't do anything dangerous by himself. So then, what are your plans now, Saray? Man, you sure have a mean streak, you know that? Oh, do I? But anyways, first I have to return this to Alicia. Oh, the knife you used to open the door. We found this at the ruins, where I first met her. It was probably handed down by the royal family. I'm sure it's very important. Before I begin my duty as a shepherd, I feel like I should return it. Indeed. Lila, you had something else to tell me, right? About what it is to be the shepherd. I'd like to hear the rest of what you had to say. Uh, it's true, I do. But first, to that same end, there are things I would like to ask Alicia as well. Perfect. Let's head over to her manor then. We might find Miklio as well. Oh, yeah. He'll probably give up and wander back any time now. <laughs> now that would be perfect. Boy, I knew you had a mean streak. <laughs> as if that guy was an ominous. Oh, hey! So you made it out okay! You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much. Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. When this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa, now. Hang on a second. Aren't you the shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all the rumors to a T. Well, <laughs> uh... For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. Gotta thank you proper for saving me. Wanna get some grub later? <laughs> to think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself. My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, uh, I don't know if... Things must be tough, but hang in there. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed this. Great. See you soon, Shepard. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. I see. Still can't open up that chest. Ah, uh, annoying. Hey, we can open that chest now at least. Yeah, we tagged that already. Alright, let's go see Alicia, and I think that's probably going to be it for the night. Let's go, let's go, let's go! If everything goes good tomorrow, we'll do a um, long part of Digimon. Um, but all depends on work and how things go tonight and all that fun stuff. Although it's not all that fun right now. <laughs> go figure. Anyways, let's see, Alicia, Alicia, we'll do Alicia. everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? 
Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Soray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. Uh. Wow, I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk while we chat. You were investigating the ruins, correct? Well, yes, that's true. This is for you. My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa. but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait, did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite the surprise. Hello? Uh, I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? Sure. Hello, Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before without dulling your other senses. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way, but good riddance. <clears throat> all right, very well then. Shall we begin? All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels in the Lords of the Land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the Shepherd purifies the Malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the Lord of the Land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way! However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. Why did she leave a note for, um, Alicia? She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. 
She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. Now we'll go a little bit longer, kind of finish up this whole little quest with Alicia. Lack of better term. I think this is where we need to go. Okay, got that finally. There she is. It looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel at least? Let's see, something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way! Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a Seraph of Water. As a Fire Seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A Water Seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We... sort of... had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad Ruins! There's Hellions to smack. That's true. Let's do what we can, first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have Sublords, so too can there be Squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your Squire, she can fight against the Hellions as long as she is within your domain. My Squire? But... This Sanctuary... No, make that all of the Sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A highland overrun with malevolence is the only highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> so then, how does this work? After my incantation, Give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see, a true name for Alicia. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Omechia! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. What is Lila up to? So Alicia is now a squire. Hey man. She has a ring of fire. Boots. Uh, 
do some focus. I think that's okay for Surrey. She didn't even know to make Leo catch up to us. Oops. Search for the father Bernard. And gather water from the ruins. So I think We'll head to the um, uh, ruins, and then we'll save there and call that a night. So we have some idea of what we're supposed to do when we come back to this. Because let's face it, I'm gonna forget. That damn it, wrong freaking button. Uh, huh. Would it be there? Or down there? They don't give us a compass. So the world teems with these monsters called Hellions that cannot be seen by normal humans. And it is they who are the true scourge of the Age of Chaos. Yes, the havoc you see in the weather and people's emotions alike all stem from the influence of the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity creates malevolence in Hellions. And the Shepherd's role is to stop him from doing that. As is that of the Squire, correct? I already told Saray much the same, but this is something I want you to determine for yourself. What you want to do with the world, with the humans, with the malevolence. I'd like you to make your own decisions, based on your honest and forthright heart, rather than having them imposed on you by destiny. But is it acceptable to express myself that openly? I'm merely a Squire. A squire is not a shepherd's subordinate, but one who provides help to him. There's no need to hold back. Yep, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Okay, then if something is on my mind, count on me to say it. How inspiring! Inspiring, but... Alicia, you kinda... uh... grace me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was in the moment. <laughs> Uh, let's save. So they said the no ruins is north. God damn it. North of Lady Lake, right? Which would be... Discoveries. Book. Okay, synopsis. Bean sets out for Galahad in search of holy water that could be used as a professor. Uh, 
Let's head this way. Let's see if this takes us to the ruins. If not, then we'll turn and head north. I do not remember if they said the ruins lead to the north or. Is that a monolith? What? Change of control mode? I already know that. I keep wanting to zoom out. I don't think this is where we want to go. Map was growing Brasturia, and that is so um, ingrained into me right now. I think it might be that area right there. Let's run over there and see. If not, we'll come back to Lady Lake and... No. We finished preparing the gel. Uh, we'll come back to Lady Lake and say it's that would be good. And then from now till the next time uh, we play this, I will figure out where these ruins are at. <sighs> Unless we literally have to go up and around we don't have the earth surf to create the damn shortcut. Oh, damn it. That's one thing I really liked about Telsper's story. They were pretty precise on where you needed to go and how to get there. Nothing against an open world. I mean, we played Ghost of uh, Satsuma and that um, was fun, but. and a pretty wide open world. But it also was pretty precise on, okay, you need to go here, deal with this. I'm counting on you. What on earth? Here it comes, Alicia! Remain so calm. Just attack it like you would any other creature. Release my spirit! Release my spirit! God damn it. Let us relish this victory and sally forth. And now I'm installation. While you're idle or otherwise not performing a combo, you press R2 to cast rejuvenation of the cast of 1BG. This takes about one second to cast and result in X. Exceptional healing making it useful for emergency and non-emergencies alike. Amortization can benefit everyone, not just you and your partner. Is this where we want to be? No. 
help. Not here, at least. Well, let's keep going this way. Let's see if we can find this, these ruins. There's another save point. Hey, please, 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 please. Just Yes! Okay, the ruins are all heading towards the ruins. Okay, that would have been nice to know. Or the turtle's map I could have told us. We're near one! Element steps. Yeah, 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 we know that. That wolf looks big. Maybe problematic. Just kind of stay over there and leave us alone for right now. Oh, they put a bunch of save points in the way, so that's good, I guess. Let's make another save. And then we'll go inside the ruins and obviously there's a save point right inside here. Written in ancient tongue. It's consistent. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I do not see any save point. I don't want to save. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Oh, you I am snake. ready. It's amazing how they can move without arms and legs. My will shall pierce thee just like Why will I just say the bo bird's the word? Uh, that's... <laughs> Targeting yet. Oh... Crap. I guess we'll run up and around. Well, like a save point, like any time in here. Because if we go outside, we're gonna forget. Or 
I'm gonna forget. Let's begin the purification. Go! 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 Everyone, are you all right? Enemy. Yeah. Rebels in the way there. This way. Oh, a bow. A bow. It looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact! A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah. Like Lila's Sacred Blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh. And that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey! Does this mean that I can use your sacred blade to armatize with other seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. And Miklio is a water Seraph. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. Miklio is not listening to you. Survey. Save point, please save. God damn it. Is that a monolith? That was a quick step information. fight at the moment. Goddamn save point. Of course we picked the wrong path. Why would we pick the right path on the first try? That just makes too much sense. That would be too convenient. Save point. Gone longer than I wanted to. Damn it. 
Oh, because we can't find a safe. Nice. Yes, yeah, slowly. Okay, okay, okay. Well, damage done. We can't do anything about it. By the way, I think that bow that we just saw was referenced at the end of Tales of Bristoria. Hey, that is a save point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was referenced at the end of um, Tales of Bristoria. Um, when you talk to the um, Marlocks at the... What was it called? Um, Inominots Shrine or whatever it was? Imperial Steps? Careful! Yes. What? W where? Uh, above! I can see it! Don't! It's poisonous! Stop! <laughs> Lila, get back! Okay. That was Mioma! Now! Burn! 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 Right Damn it! Oh no! You're There's still so many of them! Dang! Twin blow! Miklio! You couldn't have timed that bet! Sure! Lila, let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Uh, huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand! I do understand! I just didn't want you to get involved! Get over yourself! <sighs> do you really think this is your dream alone? You can hear him too? This is our dream. Now, Lila! Very well. Oh, ye born of the sacred currents of peace. Nicleo! Lila! Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your etc. Etc? The Armatis! Mithia, give Saray your true name! He already knows! You bet I do! Oh my! Here we go, Mikleo! Let's end this! I shall protect everyone! Oh, Oh, this is our Armatus! 
I'll do the aiming, Saray. All right. I'm counting on you. Ocean Blitz! As your own Now's our chance! Let's get him! Open the floodgates! Open it! As your own Wow, that was amazing, you two! Oh, were you able to remove it? Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it... does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why he couldn't take it off before. Mikleo, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. I feel oddly envious. Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me! Yes, not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Saray. Lila, Mikleo, please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Guess there's no need to worry. All right, the waterfall is just up ahead. Line up when Shepard's ready. With the power of purification for battle, Seraphim 2 can access this power if we have a human to control it through. When Dore is the sole human in the party, only one Seraph, Seraph may join him in battle, but if, uh, but if a human squire joins him, additional Seraphs may also join. Automatization present. So L1 to cancel the amortization. So does that mean we can amortize? Switch battle again. Switch surf. I think for this part they want us to use Mikulio. No. No more. Go back, save, leave that here, then we'll come back and finish this up the next time. There you go. Now eat up before it melts. Oh, a fruit frappe. The arrangement is beautiful. Just what I'd expect from a water seraph. Something like this would be beyond me. But Lila, you make sweets too, right? Well, yes. I'm good at baking, but don't work well with cold things. Oh, I see. So Lila is good with baking because she's a seraph of fire. And Miklio is good with cool sweets because he's a seraph of water. Even seraphim have strong points and weak points. It's true. I'm really no good at baking. I'll say, that one time when you tried to cook boar meat, you turned the heat up way too high and burnt it black as coal. We were both little kids then. And besides, it only happened because you didn't make the fire- Uh, guys, talking is fine and all, but if you don't eat, it's going to melt. Oh, oh shoot! shoot. Uh, boys start fighting and the girls try and keep them cal calm. Uh, how it goes. Well, anyways, I hope you all enjoy and how I'm having fun with this. Uh, we went a little bit longer than I expected tonight, but oh well. Um, we gotta call it early because I gotta do some work here. What fun. Uh, so, tomorrow we'll be back for uh we'll do digimon oh that reminds me i forgot to say this at the beginning but because i'm traveling this weekend and working this weekend i do have friday off um this will be no stream friday evening uh because i need to get ready for saturday and all that but that does mean during the day i will have time i'll be free so we'll, pro we'll move the stream to um 
Friday during the day sometime and we'll go a couple hours maybe in both games but we'll deal with that on Friday so until then I hope you all enjoy and you're having fun and I shall see you the next time later